and there's the bell. And here we go. Ouch. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. If you haven't hit record yet, now oh. might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion, which I was lucky enough to call in person. And in that tournament, this man, Pete Dunne, emerged as the next can't miss. Here's a cover. Twice as nice. And Dunne quickly kicks out. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne still has some fight left, which means trouble for his opponent. with what Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK Championship Tournament. If you didn't know him heading in, you sure as heck knew who he was coming out. I'll tell you one person who definitely knew who Pete Dunne was after coming out, and that's William Regal. Regal was absolutely irate after Dunne launched a pre-match attack on his second-round opponent. He's just so dominant. Here's Pete Dunne into the quick cover. Oh, man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Not even close. I'd say every superstar remembers their first match on Raw, but for Pete Dunbyron, his first match has a little extra special meaning as it took place in his home country of England. Well, not only that, Michael, but Pete Dunn also walked away from that match with a decisive victory over the WWE Cruiserweight Champion at the time. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. We already established that Pete Dunne was successful in his first Raw match, but to me, the biggest takeaway from that was that the 23-year-old didn't exhibit an ounce of nervousness in front of a sellout crowd of nearly 15,000 in his home country on a big show like Monday Night Raw. That's because Dunne oozes confidence. He was dominant that night because he knows it's just a matter of time before he'll be back on Raw and in the main event, most likely. Too quick for him there. What grace! Float over into the a savage DDT. Oh boy, he is rolling. Dunn is in position. X-Flex, man. Is it enough though? Gentlemen, Pete Dunn might have this one all sewn up. Dunn is in position. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. Gentlemen, Pete Dunne might have... Now that got those shoulders on the mat. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. When this guy's on, look out. I think we know what this is. Oh, oh. The shoulders are down. He kicks out before three. It's going to take more than that. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the... Here he goes. He might have it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Now he's got to capitalize. Shoulders on the back. Ref found a two count. So resourceful. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet, a la Randy Savage versus The Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that night. This will test his metal for sure. This is it. Oh, there it is! Spear! This is all but over. What impact. Oh, I think this man needs business. Incredible. Oh, man, Dunn is in trouble now. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. 
You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. That has got to be it. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be unreal performance. And here's another glance of these superstars in action. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match we're going to want to watch again and again and again.
The tag team wow. action underway here. These guys are oh, undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. He's trying to mangle his face here. Now, here we go. Beautiful. He took an incredible pounding there. Guys, it's almost as if this superstar has been walking on air ever since the latest rankings came out. I don't think I've ever... Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Sent out to the center of the ring. Double super kick! My goodness. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being excited about your spot in the weekly rankings, Byron. Now let's see if the momentum can continue here tonight. I don't know what everybody's so happy about. It's clearly a glitch in the system or a misprint or something. I mean, there's no way this superstar earned a spot that high. And the kick out by Fish! That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. What a maneuver! The leg drop. It's all over but the crying. Surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Simply destroying the back. Got the leg. Uh-oh. Taken down to the mat with authority. Oh, no. Setting up. He fights his way free. But how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? A sickening thud as he lands hard. Unleashing it for the second time now. Lands a quick punch. Why do they end up on the announce table? Look out, guys! Oh, Look out! Through the table! The weekly rankings are up, guys, and this superstar has to feel pretty darn good about it. He's pressing all the right buttons now. Ref's checking on this headlock. A favorable ranking for sure for this superstar, as Byron was saying, but that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. It's been one great performance after another as of late, if you ask me. Yeah, it really has, Cole. And like Byron was saying, when you rank that high, you have to feel good about yourself. Now, let's see if that equates to another victory here tonight. Three. Oh, and that's some serious damage to the back of the neck. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, oh, and I don't disagree. He needs to find a way to create some oh, space man. or else this thing's over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys, and when that happens, you can bet this one's good. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. We may have discovered his favorite move. His clothesline finds the mark. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I'm with Corey. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's playing with him now. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, it, his shoulders are down. He's making a statement here with this attack. What? Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. He's starting to show signs of fatigue, but we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. This isn't his first rodeo. He had to expect to take on some offense here tonight. You gotta think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. 
There's no need to keep... Oh, look. There it is. Just, just put the exclamation point on this match. Yep. Can he finish the job? He lands a jarring forearm. Oh, man, they don't even seem hurt after that. Nice kick out. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you, bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Knee drops! That was nasty. So precise. And there's a kick. Looks to be focusing on the arm now. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. He hits the big knee. Oh, he's almost there. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy... Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. Oh, no, did you hear the sound of that impact? He's getting closer. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. He's looking at it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Here's the apron drop kick. Nice. Shut it down. He's on the defensive now. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Well, it'd be unrealistic. Here's a cover. Could be it. Oh, boy, he is winning. No, a kick out. Not yet. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Tagged in. He's calling for it. Oh, I think this man means business. That's what he was looking for. He could do it here. And we have our winners. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's how we look. Serena. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Doubled over now. The Florida Keys. Boom. Flattens him with a
Big time backbreaker. He's not looking like himself here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Hey, you're gonna absorb some oh. punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes, hold on, we gotta develop in ringside. This seems like trouble. And he delivers a knee. Beautiful O'Connor roll. There's a pin now. Sit back, people. This one's not over yet. That would have been a shocker. Punishing attack on the body. No, there's the reversal. He's starting to stumble here. He looks incredibly Jeez. motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. He seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And now he goes for it a second time. to be in here guys he's got to do something to get back in this thing that'll rearrange your face watch out that was power on top of more power what a slam When this guy's on, look out. Right to the face. But he's got to capitalize now. And there's a kick at it, too. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. And we're back to this form of attack. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to be catches him off guard with that amazing acrobatic move. But he's this may very well be it. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. To the pinfall. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And yeah. this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Roderick Strong now spends his time in the squared circle for one reason. Oh, man. To give his son a life he never had. Yeah, it must be that motivation that adds a little extra torque to all of Strong's Devastating backbreakers. Oh. 
Since NXT TakeOver New Orleans, we've seen a different Roderick Strong. The man betrayed his partner, Pete Dunne, and sold his soul to join the Undisputed Era. Oh, stop. Strong finally saw an opportunity to make the right decision, and he shouldn't be chastised for it, especially since that decision brought Roderick Strong the NXT Tag Team title. On the topic of the NXT Tag Team titles, I would have to dispute that Roderick Strong made the wrong decision. He still could have become a champion with Pete Dunne, but he chose the Devils in Yellow and Black instead. Listen, I asked Roderick Strong whether he made the right decision. He said, would you rather be the Tag Team Champion with or against the Undisputed Era? To Roddy, that was an easy question to answer. High angle belly of back suplex. Jeff Hardy hurting a little here. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Byron, when someone goes up against a guy with the moniker of the Messiah of the Backbreaker, doesn't it go without saying that it is the one move to look out for? Well, the problem with Roger Strong is he doesn't just perform a traditional backbreaker. He continues to innovate the move, so he can hit the move in almost any situation. And, then, and he delivers a brutal DDT. Oh, I hate to see it end like this. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. Here is your winner, Jeff Hardy. And that's what happens when you can't answer the 10 count. Hey, rules are rules. You gotta pay attention to the 10 count or you're gonna lose. It's that simple. could this be about? Can't wait for this one. Let's see what he has to say. I am going to get my hands back on Tomansa okay. Champa. I'm going to reclaim the title I shouldn't have lost. I'm going to reclaim my throne. This is my show. I am the Springboard Soldier. I am making this program great again. But before that, I want some competition. So tonight, if any punk pussy ass bastards backstage want to come fight, I have absolutely no problem taking you on. Whoever the fuck wants it. So you know what? Come. Get it. Syndicate Project. And he lands a savage elbow. Here he goes. We kick things off in this handicap match. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss.
I sure hope there's some sort of investigation going on right now behind the scenes. There's just no way this superstar deserves to be ranked so high. Clearly, somebody's been greasing the hands of the voters. Hate to pour cold water on your conspiracy theory, Corey, but I don't see any objection to this superstar's ranking at all, and I think most people would agree. Am I right, Byron? Your best bet is to just stop listening to things that come out of Corey's mouth. I did that a long time ago, and I'm much happier now. Like we've seen, stars now. Not the uh -oh. oh, my goodness, crushing it. Hits him with a fist now. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Twice as nice. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Believe it or not, guys, this superstar wasn't overly pleased with this past week's rankings. And you know what? I tend to agree. Who's voting on this stuff anyway? He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Well, while I disagree with Corey's assessment of this week's rankings, I do support his right to an opinion. And you, too, can voice your opinion on this week's rankings by using hashtag WWE Power Rankings on social media. And I'm seeing a lot of varying opinions, which is great. Though, interestingly enough, I don't see any that agree with what Corey was saying. Go figure. Bravo to the voters this past week. It seems they finally got the rankings right. And I know this superstar agrees with me. It's about time. Oh boy, he is rolling. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. The face buster. Well, while Corey logs the power rankings voting process, I will say that there are more than a few people who think a few mistakes were made this past week, particularly as it relates to the superstars' ranking. Michael, I'm not at all surprised to hear that Corey has a different opinion than pretty much the rest of the world. It's like, whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Looking for an opening for big move. Oh, I think this man needs business. Can he finish him off here? He's got the shoulders down. One, two, two count, and a kick out. That's too early for that. Tag is made. A little tandem offense on the horizon. Ooh, the elbow lands. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Ah, uh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free Cole, but I assure you the damage has already been done. This superstar comes in here tonight with a pretty impressive ranking, guys. And well-deserved, too, if you ask me. And there's the Urinagi. Land of them. This is what makes him one of the oh. best in the business. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. An impressive ranking for the superstar, indeed. But just because you're in the top 10 doesn't make you unstoppable. We've seen superstars with all the momentum in the world lose matches before. It happens all the time. Hey, Owen Hart pinned Bret Hart on the same night that the Hitman would set the challenge for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 10. There's a perfect example of what you're talking about right there. He releases it. 
And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. You got to think about it. Kick of the gut. No way. No way. This is not going to be pretty. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Game, set, match, this one. Syndicate Project. Since Dylan actually got a clean victory, I think he deserves it more than Jeff Hardy. I mean, who really needs to see another Jeff Hardy ladder match? Exactly. Dylan's just better than Jeff anyways. So yeah, at paycheck, he will be taking Jeff's spot.